Oh, look at this. Wow. You guys. Insane. Good morning. I am in Italy and it's a little bit of a detour from my French Alps trip, but um, I'm getting ready to. Um, oh, I think this is not boiled. <laughs> no, it's not boiled. Oops, I got the wrong one. Um, so today I will be going into Italy a little bit and here and there probably a bit of off-road riding and uh, after that I will return to France via the Col d'Arnel and um, yeah it is now what time 7 30 I'm nice and early and then I will be uh, getting ready for the next bit of adventure some juice water cappuccino croissant I'm a happy camper and um, welcome back to the channel. I hope you will be sticking around again and then uh, yeah. Let's see where we end up today. There was uh, a group of Dutch guys in the uh, same hotel and they helped me spray my chain a little bit. <laughs> Bedankt hè! Jullie ook! <laughs> And we are off. I've got a nice route ahead of me and I'm probably going into the mountains somewhere there today. So if the weather stays like this, I am a-okay. Oh, while riding here, my hands are really itching to go at it already. It is uh, August 31 today. But by the time I will be home from my two month uh, trip, I think it will be mid-October somewhere. I'll probably be like the Michelin guy <laughs> while riding home, but uh, that's fine. Because my head will be filled with memories of an amazing trip. And I might be traveling alone, but on a bike you're never alone. And well, it shows, I mean, you get in touch so easily with other bikers, so it's really nice. Fauniera, that's the one I'm riding first, I think. And once again, curves for breakfast. I love it. <laughs> These are some very narrow roads. And to think that this is um, not that far from the main roads, I'd go with this every single time if possible. 
<laughs> Perfect. Views for days, guys. It's not the best road, but <laughs> the fun you get in return definitely makes up for that. Now in the Swiss Alps, I had the pleasure on the Klausen Pass to witness the Alm Abtrieb. And that is when the cattle goes down into the valley after a, I wouldn't say productive season, but like a full season in the mountains. And then they thank the cattle for working, um, surviving basically. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. But um, yeah, it's just a very cool sighting. And then they have all the cowbells and then they're decorated in really nice colors and patterns and it's one hell of an experience because they come down via the main road and yeah it's beautiful. And I don't know if it's the same here but it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> what a timing. Thank you for that. Those are some pretty uh, hardcore bells I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it already. What a start of the day. But now I'm gonna ride the Fauniera um, and then I return here. So good to know, good to know. I'm just gonna enjoy some views of the Fauniera first. Nou, nah, maar serieus, het is toch waanzinnig? Ja, heel dapper met die grote brommel van je. Ja, leuk toch? Ik sluit wel even aan als het goed is. Hey, veel plezier. Dankjewel. Please leave your sticker here. Nice. What is on here? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Kieseltje weg en dan. Uh... Dat doe jongen altijd. Oh, maar dit is... Dat uh, oh, moet hem zijn. Oh, ja. Nee, dat gaat goed. Ja. Moet hem even uit zijn vering. Uh... Wil je het koffie met Hij dondert niet over zijn heen? Nee, 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 gaat niet. Uh... En dit is een? Hoeveel? 9,5. Kom maar weer. While editing this video, I noticed how hard it actually is to translate Dutch humor into English subtitles. And so we sat down and he fixed me a nice cup of tea. 
Dirk, Adri, Kees, Gerrit, Artjan, Ben en Dian were touring the French Alps and we discovered that we had kind of the same route for today. lookout and you can even spend the night here that is something I would love to do one day look at the stars at night and oh man Woo. okay let's head back up because I have one off-road bit waiting for me uh oh is it closed already That would be a shame. Wait, let me check. Okay, let me translate that. Uh, if it works. <laughs> if I have. Eh. Scusi? Yes. 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 No problem. There were some other bikers passing as well, and they said I could just go. Grazie. <laughs> Please stay where you are. How flexible is it? Not flexible enough. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <it's you. laughs> Ciao. Here we are. Let's go. Man, oh man. What a place. Now with bits like this, I still find it a little bit exciting you also don't know what's under the puddle <laughs> and I've had that once where I was like oh shit and I was knee deep now this is not too bad I think because it's all very even but still oh la la eh, outside <laughs> not gonna take the risk <laughs> Ah, oh, this feels so good.
Woohoo! Maybe I should have checked it first, but all good. This is uh, a good pass for me, a good road. Not too hard, nice flow. Now the last time I said that I fell down, I think, so maybe I'll just shut up. <laughs> In about 700 kilometers, I am on 30,000. I will have my surface done in Swiss somewhere at Hostetler Moto. They helped me so well last year with uh, mid-trip tire change. So I thought, you know what? I'm heading into that direction a little bit, so might as well go back, this time in Bern instead of Sursee. And uh, yeah, they will do the 30,000, 30,000. <laughs> Uh, kilometer surface and new tires again and maybe a new chain because that has been taking a proper beating and uh, yeah then I'm good to go for another 15 maybe I should have a break somewhere oh no it's okay go go <laughs> go it's okay I'm gonna stop anyway, so uh, just have to find a good spot where I can sit and then uh, score some banana, some fruit, some water, get a little bit of refreshment because I'm sweating. You wouldn't say, but it's 12 uh, degrees, so it's actually pretty good now. It's okay. <laughs> they don't get it <laughs> I'm gonna eat how about this for a lunch spot huh is it still standing yes okay wow damn if it weren't for the tips that some of you gave me I would not be standing here so Now I know how all those off-road guys feel because it's truly amazing! Waiting for the bikers to come around. <sighs> Look at that! There they are. I will uh, open it up. Nice! First girl! Awesome! We need more! Another girl? Perhaps? Maybe? Would be nice? I think it's a guy. <laughs> going, going in every direction. Oh man. Pick a line, Leo! Pick a line! 
Nice, picked a muddy line. Now that I practiced in the Netherlands on the uh, Tet. Oh, look at this. Wow. You guys, insane. That is so cool. Now I know there was a car somewhere here. They wanted me to pass via the grass, but I'll pass. Yeah, I think that will work. <laughs> Ooh. Grazie! <laughs> kile kile, we would say in Netherlands. Like barely, barely. Oh, I will just help them out. <laughs> the next gate is for them to open. <laughs> I think we will uh, exchange each other. Oi, very rocky. Well, okay, I'll just go to the other side then. Next one is on me. Yes, it's for you. Oh, <laughs> I, I said I will wait for you because yeah, you're so often. So cool. <laughs> you're the first woman I see. Yeah, you too. Like how? Yeah, it's so cool. I have yeah. the right motorbike. But so still, I mean. I, I learned it from my mother, so. Really? Yeah, wow, she's best mom. I've been driving since nine years. Itchy boots on tour. Sorry? Itchy boots on tour. Well, a little bit. <laughs> I, I am I am flogging, but uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's so incredible here. Yesterday we was at Col de Papillon. Papillon. I was there too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Two, three days ago, I think, ah, okay. in the snow and yeah, yeah. yeah we, we we waited. We made some other tours, like in the, in the lower part. So that's well, very nice seeing yeah. a woman. It's, yeah, yeah, it's refreshing, like, oh, really. It's a woman. <laughs> it was my first license. I drove a car since four years. Yeah. <laughs> and bike since nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, uh, good order. No, I've been riding for five years, and I had my car license maybe a year before that, and otherwise everything on the bicycle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Teresa and yours. Leonor. Uh, nice to meet you. And you? Martin. 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 Leonor, nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Well, I'll go first. I'll open the next one. <laughs> yeah, see if I can keep up. <laughs> well, I'm not that fast, so. <laughs> well, enjoy, and I'll see you at the next. <laughs> this was truly biker's paradise. After hitting the tarmac again, I switched back to my sport riding mode and I made my way to the Sampaire Pass. A small hour ride through all kinds of twisties. I would be going back the next day for a small off-road adventure in the distance there. And what can I say, it looked promising already. myself a place to stay tonight it's uh, here on the mountain I'm just quickly gonna go down in Sampere for some gas and then uh, tomorrow I have like 10 minutes up before I can start the off-road to Bicotta now that is a breakfast I am really looking forward to It's been a real pleasure. Italy, this corner in Italy really surprised me. I have uh, never been here. I've been all around Italy and all around the French Alps, but I apparently missed this spot. I'm very glad I'm discovering it now with this bike, with the off-road and with all the gear I have now. A couple of years ago, I didn't have a drone and 
you know, it gives a very unique perspective. Also on the coal, on the pass, the off-road pass this afternoon, it's... <laughs> I was making the shots and I was like, oh! Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow. So uh, yeah, now I'm here. Um, I thought I had a really nice place, but it turned out that they overbooked. So there was no room for me, unfortunately. And now I am in a very small town and I will be staying right there, right behind me. It's called Ichimi and it is a restaurant and they have some rooms available and it looked very nice. Um, I spent the last three hours packing, unpacking, looking, etc. But uh, I'm gonna call it a night this time for real and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>